For 20 years, we have done what is right, the right way and at the right time, because we strongly believe that a little step taken every day builds up the hope of greater accomplishments. Welcome to the epitome of higher education in the East Africa region, Mount Kenya University. This academic giant started as a small computer outreach center in Thika town 20 years ago and grew in leaps and bounds to become the Thika School of Management Studies in the year 2000. With the growing demand for knowledge and information technology, the college was later converted to Thika Institute of Technology in the year 2003 and later evolved into Mount Kenya University in the year 2008. Now, the university stands tall as a chartered and ISO certified institution of higher learning and the largest private university in the East Africa region. We have the rich site academic resources and this has been uh, um, given to us as, as evidence by the commission when it inspected our campuses, including the last audit that they did here, quality audit. They find that we are within the expected standards. But even during its earlier days, it was clear that the institution was destined for greatness. Those who joined it before it became a university concur that the vision of the institution was vivid and therefore it stood out from all other colleges. Samuel Miner, the manager of Java Coffee House Hurlingham, is one of the alumnus who believed in the dream of the institution, joining it in the year 2006. The knowledge he gained from the then Thika Institute of Technology has enabled him to rise through the ranks to become the manager of this coffee outlet. When you are in MKU, you are molded to be independent. Eh? Uh, MKU gives you that platform for you to make rational decisions to be able to stand out from a, a crowd. So after MKU, I went to uh, Sarova Pan Africa. Uh, Sarova Pan Africa for at least uh, half an year. Then I went uh, to uh, Simba Lodge, Naivasha. After Simba Lodge, Naivasha, I went back to Sarova White Sands, Mombasa. Now after Sarova White Sands, Mombasa, I came back to Nairobi and uh, I was employed by Nairobi Java House now. Lecturers at the Mount Kenya University are able to inspire hope, ignite the imagination, and instill a love for learning among the students, leaving a lasting impression in the lives of graduates of the institution. Like Brown Kanampiu, who completed a management course at the institution in the year 2003, and was employed by the Kenya Tea Development Authority, where he rose through the ranks to become the group head of procurement. Generally, it was a very, very good training. There was dedication from the lecturers, a lot of teamwork, uh, cooperation from other students, and it was generally a very good experience. It was one year, but it was one of the years in my training that I will never forget. Despite the university churning out graduates every year, the employability rate of Mount Kenya University graduates remains high, with many of them getting employment opportunities immediately after graduation. At the Kajiado Level 5 Hospital, we meet Collins Lekam, a Mount Kenya University alumnus who graduated in the year 2015 with a bachelor's degree in nutrition and dietetics. He was absorbed immediately by the county government of Kajiado and he is now the Kajiado Central Sub-County Chief Nutritionist. We were employed around four of us, uh, two nutritionists, one lab technician, and I, I think two lab technicians. We really appreciate him. Looking through the past cases, the past years, we have situations where we have found various organizations asking for students to go and do their interviews even before they graduate. They do the interviews, some of them, for, employ for employment, others to be engaged in internships and attachments. We are happy to indicate that. 
the university also emphasizes a lot, puts a lot of emphasis on attachment and internships for the students. Despite having a mountain of academic materials in its library and offering a conducive learning environment through the study villas and free Wi-Fi for students, Mount Kenya University has also been able to invest in a qualified pool of respected academic faculty drawn from the local, regional and international front. We have employed so many staff and uh, as at now we have approximately 1,369. This faculty has been key in enabling students achieve academic excellence, a move that has enabled the institution to win accolades in different fields, including information technology. Mount Kenya University has made learning very flexible through its virtual varsity, where students are able to learn online, as well as giving students a chance to learn in line with their schedule. At the War Memorial Hospital in Nakuru County, we meet Edwin Olo, who heads the laboratory department. He undertook his undergraduate degree at Mount Kenya University, then went ahead to study his master's degree and is due to graduate. MKU I started at undergraduate, that is as, a, as an upgrade from a diploma holder to a degree holder, that is in the year 2010. And what, what drove me to join MKU was the fact that, first of all, it was very efficient and cost effective, and also the schedule for back work and job was very flexible. Because this one is a scenario that uh, instead of the usual Monday to Friday uh, schedule, this was a, a weekend basis. That is what motivated me. Furthermore, by then, I believe it was a fairer of, of them all when it comes to the, 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 the fee payment and also the fee, the, the way they, 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 they placed it, that you, you can always pay in bits other than paying lump sum. This year, the university also benefited from the Kenya Universities and Colleges Central Placement Service, through which over a thousand government-sponsored students got a chance to enroll at the university. The students here are social to each other. They don't, they don't discourage. My experience at MKU has been amazing. Uh, it's, it has been an eye-opener, new experiences, uh, meeting new people and learning new things. To come here to achieve my goals, I applied for, in government sponsored, government sponsored, um, uh, and I applied for a Bachelor of Science in General Technology. I wanted to achieve it since I would not have any other chance or any other university. Even most of the university are not offering this course as a medical course. So I wanted to come into MKU to pursue that course since it was my dream. The university continues to be a pace setter in innovation and providing job opportunities for its graduates. In the year 2014, the university started the Graduate Enterprise Academy, in which students with entrepreneurial ideas are put in a boot camp, then mentored and given seed capital to start their business. Godfrey Ngotho, the proprietor of Kipacha Technologies in Limuru, which is an IT company, is an alumnus of the Enterprise Academy. Two years since he was granted seed capital of 800,000 shillings, his investment has grown to about 3 million shillings, enabling him to put up a cyber cafe and also a gaming center for youth here. The Academy continues to attract great mentors and finally churning out job creators and not job seekers. This is the knowledge that has been able to give us enough push to start up a company which is based on ICT services, that is from web design, software design, app design, name it. In the month of September, we were invited to go to the International University of Management in Namibia to help them start up a graduate enterprise academy. 
they are trying to start it modeling theirs with our kids. And again, we have even interacted with universities from West Africa, universities from East Africa, and even from the country, Kenya. And all of them are picking examples of what we have done. But it is not only books without play at Mount Kenya University. The institution has put up state-of-the-art sports facilities and its teams continue to perform impressively in various competitions. So much so that some of the students are already playing at the national level. A case in point being Martin Awila, who is now part of the Kenya Sevens rugby team. Normally what the school usually do is that if they see you can add value or you are somebody with that value, they will try to uh, approach you and give you scholarship. They support both gender equally. There is no favorism and I, and I appreciate that. We were ranked fourth uh, basically because of uh, the parameters. One of the parameters uh, the researchers were looking at uh, were the facilities that we have for students. Uh, for example, we have uh, buses which uh, ferry students on every weekend. Uh, we also have uh, the gym, the indoor arena gym. Those are some of the things they looked at. Uh, the other parameter was uh, our in, uh, participation in the national leagues. Uh, you find that um, we are one of the universities uh, in, in most of the leagues. Students also participate in corporate social responsibility activities. Currently, students are involved in assessing the impact of using water backpacks, a simple solution of carrying water on the back for people living in the villages and ensuring that the water is clean. The project is being implemented in Marurui, Kiambu County and in Marsabit County by Partners for Care a non-governmental organization. So they research the um, programs that we have to tell us whether or not we're making an impact or not, or whether we need to change what we're doing. So they've helped us with the research of our water back project. They've helped us with the research of um, other programs that we've done, jigger treatment. We've treated 15,000 in the country for jiggers, and they're now studying the impact of that, the improvement in the school scores for the children. So it's very important for NGOs, for even the government, to look and to see is what they're doing making a difference. And that's the relationship that we have with Mount Kenya University. The chairman of the board of directors and founder of this institution, Professor Simon Gisharu, continues to inspire leadership, a move that has enabled him win many accolades internationally. Professor Gisharu was recently conferred with an honorary professor in business and entrepreneurship degree by the International University of Management for his contribution in education. It means that the world appreciates his efforts. And I think we appreciate the world for appreciating his efforts. The institution is also developing formidable infrastructure in different parts of the country, including Nakuru and Thika, as it seeks to create more conducive environment for learning. With such a force behind it, Mount Kenya University continues to grow from strength to strength, with continuous improvement as students here continue to scale the heights of education.